Welcome back, guys, to our beautiful little fishy village. And talking of beautiful things, guess who's here? Yeah, she's back! Daddy Giggles! <laughs> Thank you, Sky. Hi. How are you feeling today? I know you were feeling awful yesterday. Ah, well, the doctors gave me some really nice painkillers. <laughs> so, oh, awesome. Can I have some? Yeah. No, that's mine. Um, so, yeah, I'm feeling super. Thanks for asking. <laughs> <laughs> I'm super! Thanks for asking. If you don't know where that's from, it's a South Park reference. We do like our South Park. So, um, things are going pretty nicely. Now, uh, uh, Nanny had a, a, a flick through the video. She didn't, she didn't have time to go through the whole thing. Um, so, Which what was do you, kind what of do you a think? shame. Oh, I loved what I saw. It was really hard, you know, only to see bits and pieces because it was really interesting seeing how you decorated the thing. Um, the town, sorry. So, I quite... Love your little decoration you have around there. Any bits you particularly like? <laughs> the school, wasn't <laughs> Oh, look, mini, mini Hogwarts. Yeah. You know, before I saw the... Um, I saw your video, I saw people, you know, commenting, and I was like, what What are they talking about Hogwarts? What? <laughs> ah, well, now you know. This is where we're going to teach the uh, the children to be uh, witches and wizards, and then uh, and then they can get revenge. On, uh, um, on the old people in the village who hate them, and they could turn them into frogs and things. Yeah, cool. Which I thought was kind of cool. And uh, oh my god, look, they're in the tree. Seriously. There's there's some bloke in there. Yeah. The teacher, and he's in there. Who are you in there with? You know, sometimes you just need to, you know, close the mouth and just move on. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> look, that, that just seems wrong to me. Ooh. Come, come, you know, come, come into this, this little tree stump with me. <laughs> <laughs> you know, you need to shut up. You know, oh, you have uh, kids who watches your videos. Very true. Now, the um, I think we'll leave the fishing village uh, for a while because it, it's kind of everything's kind of good. Um, food wise, things are, like awesome. We had three thousand fish last year, and we've got the hunter going, and uh, the hunter like like a thousand venison. Oh, plus some duck meat. So we're doing like over over four thousand. We've got uh, thirty-seven, yeah, thirty-seven people in the village. So yeah, we're good on food. We've got four thousand food in stock. We've got we've got logs. We've got we've got like a whole bunch of stuff. Uh, now, in the, the, the end of the last episode, I was putting in some uh, some foresters. Uh, we've got we've got a forester going in there. There's another forester on the other side of the village. I'm going to replace this stone house. Yes, please. Because you, uh, you think that should be a wooden house, don't you? Yeah. Yeah. All right. See, you I know, do listen to, to Nanny. Yeah, it has to match the area, you know? Okay. All right. Well, we'll, we'll put we'll put a wooden house in there. Uh, so, house. Should we put a log cabin in? Well, you're the bus. Log cabin. That, you know, that's nice. Just just something just something simple. Let's flip it around. That way, so he's... So he's front door is facing this way yeah and then we'll pop it in yeah we'll give him a bit of space let's pop it in let's pop it in there yeah that'll do there we go okay so uh, so we got that going so what we're going to focus on today i think is um because we've got the, we've got the whole trading post thing going on you know they need to go and build this stuff uh let's get let's get some let's speed things up and we'll get some more stuff coming in because I think we need a lot more stone so let's crank it up to times five I'll get some more stone going let's see what I want stone so let's get uh, I've got a stockpile in going in here at some point well, a couple of stockpiles there they've just got to get it done um, I kind of want them to do that before I start telling them to get more stone oh they're out here chopping trees down that's where they are look I still think when you you know you're making the stone roads, I think in the different areas, especially if you're in the forest, you need to make different types of roads. Well, you we'll do that then. We'll do that then. Yeah. Hmm. But of course, you know that the the different roads um, cause people to walk at different speeds. Yeah, yeah, I know, but you know, it's nice to be a little more realistic. You All know? right, I'll, no, in I'm, the forest. I'm totally happy to go along with that. We definitely need okay. more stone because we've we've got, we've got to go do all this stone road and stuff, which take actually takes a lot of stone. 
that I'm kind of hoping that they'll get on to doing these stop piles. I might have a quick blast at, um, at times 10 just to kind of get this stuff done. We have got we have got stone coming in, but not so much of it. Can oh, you here we go. like explain to me again about the limits? You know why you put the limits on the resources? Well, the the, the reason for having limits is so. For example, for example, um, our woodcutter in the village. He um, he's he's chopping firewood, but if we've got enough firewood, so like let, let me. In fact, I'm actually going to increase the limit on on. on firewood up to like 500 but if he gets up to 500 then we can get him to to do other things so what if, if he gets up to like we've got 500 fuel in stock he'll go off and be a laborer for a while and do some other things so it's um it's so that you don't get a bunch of stuff that you don't need and you can be more efficient so that's why yeah well that sounds good come on guys chop these blooming trees down will you yeah there we go we've got one guy working at least how we do? We've got six labourers, we've got three builders set up. They'll all be working as labourers, probably, at the moment. So what are you going to do to the to the area full of the t full of trees? Well, what I'm thinking about doing is, because we've got... We've got a fairly good area out here, and we've got a fairly good area out here. Um, in fact, you know what? Let me, let me pause it for a second, because... Where did I put the forester in here? Uh, oh no, the forester's up here, isn't he? Uh, that's his log cabin, and the forest is there. You know, I'm actually wondering if I shouldn't move him back a little bit, maybe, um, to give us a bit more room. Because I want to, I want to do a whole wood cutting business down here, and we'll have forestry going on over here. We'll have forestry going on over here, and then we, you know, and they'll they'll be producing lumber, and then they'll be trading it. And I think that would be a really cool kind of thing to do. Because it, I. I I want, yeah, I, I think we could do a nice setting with lots of different types of woodcutters and stuff. Um, but I'm, yeah, I'm thinking of actually moving this back a little bit to give us a bit more space here. I'm gonna, you know what? I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna do that. So uh, let's take let's take that out. Uh, that's his house. So this is right. Get rid of that. We'll put him back in. Uh, not harvest trees. What do I want? Uh, I want this. We can set the game going again. Now, uh, what do I want? What do I want? I want, uh, where's for, where's for, oh no, it's in this one. Here we go, foresters. Uh, foresters, and I, this is just gonna be a regular forester. So we'll set him, we'll just set him a bit further back up here. Like about there probably would be good. Uh, maybe there, yeah. Boom, he's going in there, and then his house is there. Which is close enough, that's fine. And that puts him closer to the stockpile as well, which is even better, so that's all worked out nicely. So, yeah, see, that gives us actually some room to have the whole woodcutting business in down here. Um, we're still waiting them to cut these blooming trees down just to get the blooming stockpiles in. I suppose we've only got six people, so. Well, no, nine people. Oh, oh, finally, finally, here we go. God, that took a bit of time. Come on. Yeah, we got that one that, in. Because they're protesting that you have not made them even sizes. <laughs> yeah, but you know what? Sometimes it's nice when they're not the same size. I like having things kind of. Sometimes it's nice to be really symmetrical, but other times it's like the real world. People <laughs> don't build things all like exactly the same shape and size and perfectly laid out. Things are kind of odd shapes and stuff. And because it was you saying it, I had a really bad graphic in my head. <laughs> I'm just keeping it to myself. <laughs> you are so bad. You know that? You really are. You really are a very, very bad person. You know what? I'm going to run a dirt road like all the way out here. Right the way through the forest. All right, so we're going to have a dirt road. See? Dirt road for you. Dirt road through the forest. Oh, thank you very much. And then we're going to do some forestry thing. But I tell you what I want to try out. I want to try out one of these dense foresters. Uh, so where are we? Where are we? Um, foresters. Uh, it's this thing, the dense tree shack. Grows dense trees to harvest. Like, I have no freaking idea what that means, but we're going to try it out. So I'm going to put one of these in. Um, yeah, good idea. Start small. Where am I going to put this in? 
Uh, you know what? Well, first of all, let's let's pin that so we can see the radius of that, and then let's get one of these um, one of these dense tree guys. Uh, should I put it over this side? Let's put it over this side. Just about, just about there. We and go. what if I say no? Put it in, in the other side. Then I'll say tough. I've already put it in. Ha ha! ha. <laughs> <laughs> so right, so we've got a, a a road going out there. That's cool. Um, do we have a road going out the other side? The answer's probably yes, but I think the road going through here probably needs to be a little bit further up, and then it's going to have to go off over there so maybe just to about here yeah let's do that let's do that so let's get a dirt road now I could use I could use like a, a mossy a mossy road but we'll, like, we'll save stone at the moment we'll do that later so let's have a dirt road going I said to about here didn't I yeah because we want so about there Make it a little more curvy, you know. You can't make it curvy, you know. No, I know, straight. but you can, you can, you can make it a little bit. No, not really. Yeah, well, a little bit. But no, not really. You can't uh, make it curvy. Yeah, but I just. Oh, never mind. <laughs> what? <laughs> no, never mind. So I'm gonna hmm. put that in there. I have no idea what she's on about, guys. If you if you know what she's on about, leave me a comment, please tell me, because I've got no clue. Uh, I hate you. I know you do. She doesn't really. She loves me. I'm her hero. <laughs> <laughs> uh, right, we're going to collect some stone now. Now that we've got stop piles down here. So I'm going to collect stone from there. And I'm going to collect stone from there. So we've got plenty of stone coming in because we need it. We've got the trader. Hooray. Thank you for enth your enthusiasm, Nanny. <laughs> uh, you know, I felt very... Um upset with you making fun of me <laughs> so I'm holding a grudge. Yeah, that's what I do. Oh, oh hang on. Oh what the <laughs> hell? Oh come on. <laughs> We've got an outbreak of flu. That's you. It's na That's <laughs> Nanny's fault. <laughs> well somebody actually left you a comment saying you should just build a hospital and you know and just close it oh, because you never knew when you might need it. That's that's actually not particularly good guys. Um, Okay, hospital. We need a hospital. We need a freaking hospital really quick. Um, so this is going to be in town services, and this is going to be health. So he was healing. actually right, that man who left you that comment. Uh, we are kind of. Uh, yeah. We've got. <clears throat> we've only got twenty six medicine. Okay, guys, this could be very, very, very bad. Well, we, just build the place. We need now. We can put in a herbalist. Um, oh dear. Where? We, oh, good dear. Now, we could put a herbalist maybe out here in the woods. Which maybe wouldn't be the worst idea I've ever had. Um, yeah, I think, we, I think we're going to have to do that. So we're going to put in a herbalist over here. Probably about there. A little look at the herbalists. It's quite a cool place, the herbalists. Um, so let's let's put the herbalist in there. And what I'm going to do, I am going to prioritise this. So increase priority of that building. Right. So hopefully <clears throat> they're going to build that first. Um, now, there, now there's a thing in here somewhere to send to because uh, that only cr increases the priority of building it there's something in here about getting the laborers to do stuff um, but I, I've got to say I can't remember where, where the hell it was I did see it somewhere I'm sure I did but I can't remember that where the hell it was yeah. You know, you were like, eh, no. last time we did this, you were like making fun of, I couldn't remember things. So, like, why can't you just remember this small little thing? Your people are dying, and you're just not remembering. You feel better now? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Well, as long as it made you feel better, <laughs> then everything's fine. 
Look, I put a little little campfire in the middle of the village so they can keep warm while they're all dying of flu. There's our there's our flu carrier. Tucker is visiting the doctor. No, he's not because we haven't got one. Oh, stay away from him! Don't no. Stuardo. <laughs> Yeah, guys, ignore her. Ignore <laughs> her. She, she has a very strange sense of humour sometimes. Trust me. Uh, right. We need this to get freaking built and built quickly. Um, really, the only thing I can do is kind of crank up the speed and like just hope that they get that built. Before before we get lots of people That was a really funny dying. name. <laughs> Stuardo. <laughs> See? See, she's so easily pleased. That's why I hang around with her. It makes me feel good. Because she's, like, so easily pleased. No, you just like the way I look. What is that, <laughs> Where is that? You're, you're quite, so superficial. You're quite cute. Bit of eye candy around the place. Does it hurt? No. <laughs> oh, God. Hey, seriously, we're going to get so many comments now. People call me a misogynist <laughs> again. Nothing new. Uh, oh, they're up. Good. They're chopping down the trees. That's good news. Oh, man. This, seriously, this um, this disease is really seriously bad news. You should really have listened to the guy, you know, write, writing that comment. It's, it's just bad luck getting something like flu this early. Well, you should. <laughs> Beginner, hindsight is twenty twenty. If we hadn't had a flu break, a flu outbreak, then I could have sat here for, for many years going to see. Didn't need a hospital, but yeah, one of those things. Uh, reserve of logs is low. Uh, right, they finished removing the trees. They've got seventeen logs. Oh, please, please build this. Oh, hang on a second. He's okay. Oh my god, so we didn't actually need that. Well, well, we'll put it in anyway, we'll let it go in. But apparently, he's been cured. You're simply too lucky. I'm just awesome, that's all it is. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that's awesome. Um, now, I put that blooming wood thing in, didn't I? Wait, like, where the hell was it? Um, I'm clicking around. Oh, there, there we go. I better, I better pin that, because otherwise I'll never freaking find it again. So, we've got our dense tree shack. I really want to see what uh, what that's like when it's done. Uh, how are we doing for stone? I got, I got selected some more stone, didn't I? But, uh, that's a bit more a bit more over there. Let's get some more stone coming in, because we, we're actually using quite a lot of stone at the moment. Uh, uh, let's, get, let's get all that coming in as well. Right, that's plenty of stone. Uh, now, did I... I haven't set the foresters up, have I? That's why we're short of logs. Let's get... Um, you know what, I'm going to, in this one, because all he's doing is supplying this woodcutter here. So I'm just going to put one woodcutter, sorry, one forester in there supplying logs to the village. And then down here, I'm going to tell these guys to cut me some trees. Um, let's, yeah, I want to save that tree, don't I? Cut down, cut down those trees. Yeah, we'll take a few from there and a, oops take a few from there and a few from there and a few from there there we go that should keep us going and you know what I'm going to cut down those trees there and those two cool alrighty uh, we've almost got this forest rocking and rolling now we've got the herbalist done yet no not quite Just a bit of building to be done. You know, I'm going to boost this up because we're, we're just kind of waiting on them to build buildings at the moment. So let's um, let's speed things up. Get this herbalist done out of the way. We've still got three, but we've got 12 labourers. Holy crap. We're, so we're up to uh, 38, 40, we're up to 45 people now. Our food is still around the 3,000 mark. But I think, I think now is probably the time to bang a couple of fishermen in here. So let's... Um, Let's get, let's get a couple of fishermen in there. 
Uh, and I'm thinking we we might need some more houses soon. Although we have been building houses for the for the different things, and we've got we still got one or two houses to come. So but no, we could, should be all right. You could just put in some houses. Well, I could, but talking about it. Well, yeah, but like we've got a house for the traders. Yeah. Right. We've got a house for the foresters. Although, okay, we could do with a second house because we're probably going to have four foresters in here, so we'd need two houses for them. So, uh, what kind of house? We well, we've got a log cabin. Should we put in a wooden house just for something a bit different? I, I was expecting an answer there. Oh well, you know. <laughs> I would say you should, you know, take yeah a little a house that has the, a different um, front like that. Yeah, go for yeah. that one. Mm -hmm. What do you think? Like there, there. Yeah, there. between the between the trees. Yeah. Yeah. I think that'll look nice there. Um, these guys could use. I uh, know oh, they've got they've got that stockpile there, so they're they're fine. They don't need a stockpile. That's good. Uh, Although, actually, we've got that stockpile going in there. We actually want this stockpile going down here. Oh, that's a very good point. So, you know what? We'll get rid of that. And we'll put a stockpile in down this side. Because we want the logs coming down here. Oh, we've got, we've got a trade. We've got a merchant coming in. Oh, in fact, we've got a merchant here already. What's he got? Um, ba -ba -ba -dum -bum, purchase. No, trade. Liquor. There's a joke there, screaming to get out, uh, but I'm not going to do it. Uh, we don't want, uh, we don't want liquor. So uh, this is Dylan, Dylan Din, Dylan Din. Can't you make him, you know, come with something the next time? Can you order something? Uh, yeah, but there's nothing we want from him. Okay. Uh, the smuggler's not not particularly useful. To be honest, so right, let people get back to it. Well, what speed have I got it running on? Times 10. And uh, let's take it down to times two again while I'm kind of doing stuff. And we've got that's built. They still haven't finished his house, they've still got that house to do. Um, and they still, they still haven't built this. Bunch of slackers, go and build that blooming thing, get it done. How's it going with that? I, I can't remember what it was called um, the lumber thing or the tree thing you were uh, making. What the, this, what, the, the, the dense tree thing? Yeah, thank you. Um, no, they, they, they've got the logs, they've got the stone, they're halfway through building it, so... I don't know, maybe, you know what, as soon as we've got a lot of labourers at the moment, we'll crank up an extra couple of guys. Oh, right. you had pinned it, that was really... Good, yeah. good job, so, Regina, so, you're just so... So observant. Yeah, Jesus Christ. See, see, it's all very well and good for people to, to, to say, oh, you know, you missed this, you missed this. But when you're here and you're talking and you're trying to see what's going on and you're trying to talk as well, it's hard to, it's easy to miss things, isn't it? <laughs> um, yeah. yeah. I, like, if I just looked, I could have seen it instead of me sitting here, you know, eating my tongue. Yeah, you know, just, just blame, just, just blame the fact that you're not feeling well at the moment. Yeah. Just blame everything on that. <laughs> right, so I'm going to put a stockpile. Now, where's the... By the way, Actual... does this game save automatically? Does it save automatically? It does yeah. save automatically, every so often. So, mm. we'll, yeah, right, we'll put this stockpile. Now, where's the... Yeah, we'll put that stockpile down there. That's, that's kind of perfect. And this is... What is this? Is that the forest? That's the forester's lodge, isn't it? Oh, yeah, yeah, because that's that forester's lodge. Our, yeah, our builders need to get off their backsides and actually build some stuff. I'm going to crank it up to six builders. Oh, that was a good one. I will remember that the next time you you don't feel like working. You need oh, to really? get off your back and just work. No, backside. Get off backside, your backside. <laughs> get off your back. I mean, that's... Yeah, that's uh, get off your backside and do some work. <laughs> Oh dear. Right, uh, let's extend this stone road, I think. Down here. Um, how are we doing for stone? Not a lot at the moment. Um, but I'm still going to extend this stone road down here, I don't care. So. But couldn't you wait for that? I, I could wait, but like... That's just a waste of stone. Stone you could need for something more productive. Yeah, I know, but I just can't control myself. 
that was really stupid. Thing. And we got, we have actually got loads of stone coming in. They've just got to do it. But like our build, it's our builders that we're waiting on at the moment. Our builders are really slacking off. Have they finished the herbalist yet? Oh my god, well they finished the herb. Right, let's get a herbalist in there. So boom, we've now got a herbalist. So we'll be uh, we'll be getting herbs coming in. We'll have herbs coming in, and we can we can heal people, which is kind of no bad thing. Uh, we've got that house is almost complete. We're waiting on we're waiting on this guy. We're waiting on these two like these two foresters. Come on, they haven't they even started on that. Oh well, they have got the logs. They've almost got the stone for that. So yeah, we're just waiting on the builders. What the hell are the builders doing? Getting another builder. How are we doing for... Oh my god, look at this. Oh, we've got clothes. We've caught up with the clothes demand. We've got tools, we've got clothes, we've got 3,300 food. So we're staying ahead on the food, which is good. We've got our extra two fishermen in there. We've got... We're up to our limit on stored fuel, which is awesome. Ah, uh, right, you know what, um, can I start putting in, like what, like, I'm just wondering if I can kind of plan out the, the woodcutter area. They still haven't chopped these trees down. There's, there's kind of so much for people to do. I guess they're, they're walking quite a long way to get out here, which is why things are taking a while. I guess that's what it is. But they should be finished... Oh, are they still getting stuff up here? Maybe they're still doing odd jobs up here. Well, I want them to stop doing that. Get to, get their asses down here. Get to work down here. There's a lot to do. Uh, okay, so the woodcutting business. So we've got this road coming down here. We've got the house there. We'll probably need another house for the traders. Um, okay, let's have a look. Let's see what options we've got in the woodcutting. Because we've got, we, we have, there are a few. Um, mini woodcutter. So we've got the tiny chopper. <laughs> Moving on. Mini woodcutter. What's that? That's just that thing. Uh, we've got. Uh, that's that one, isn't it? Mini woodcutter. Yeah. And then we've got we've got the regular old woodcutter. And then oh, that's just the the stump. Um, stacks burner. Yeah, okay, right, well. Primarily, it's just going to be these, these woodcutter buildings. Um, it's a shame that wouldn't go in there. I should have maybe put that road going up a little bit higher. But but we'll see what we can do. We'll see if we can come up with some, some kind of layout for this. Which is like semi-pleasing. So, I'm thinking, if we have, if we have a woodcutter there, Right, and then flip it around and then we'll have a woodcutter there and then we'll probably have some some kind of arrangement here for like for storage um, and that's probably enough for now and we'll maybe have um, like another couple of woodcutters around the place later and maybe we'll use one of the little ones as well maybe we'll have a, a chopper or a mini chopper tiny chopper what's a tiny chopper God, that is tiny. Uh, yeah, well, let's get rid of some of these trees so that we can actually see what the hell we're doing and then and then we'll kind of try and decorate and, and do stuff like that. Right, let's have a look at the trader. Right, let's get, let's get one trader in there and initially his inventory is going to be uh, firewood. So let's crank him up to... Uh, you know what, let's type it in, it's much easier. Let's crank him up to 500 firewood. Boom. You still with me, Nanny? Sure am. You come very quiet. I get worried when you're quiet, because I, I, I think you're <laughs> up to something. Oh, I'm just uh, reading the event log at the moment. Yeah, well, anything <laughs> interesting? If anything interesting happens, tell me. Mm. Uh, Elmerson was born. Uh, Milana's become an adult. Stuardo has become an adult, so Regina can giggle again because you think that's a funny name. Uh, Fencer has become a student. Nat has become a student. Uh, Valorin has become an adult. 
Glorian was born. Donna. Donna. <laughs> Donna. Should we should get her working in the food industry, shouldn't we? Donna. <laughs> Eh, might even get an in at some. You know, I wonder what I wonder what options there are for ins. That's food produ. Eh, let's have a look. Food production. Uh, put your stalls. That's rude for uh, food refining. Transplant fields. I wonder where the in. Uh, where are the ins? Oh, tropical greenhouse. This is all growing. Um, where would where would ins be? Let's look. I guess it's luxuries, isn't it, Inns? Oh, the white swan. That looks really posh. That is... That's not that posh. I mean, it's a bit... I mean, it's too posh for the fishing village, but it's not that posh. The Pilgrim's Rest. So that's even posher. <laughs> yeah. And then we've got Medieval Tavern. That looks different? better. They're different models. Check. No, no different models for that. No, no different models for that. Small tavern. See, now that could actually go in the fishing village. It's not. I don't think that's too posh for the fishing village. Do you? No. You said no, but it sounded like I'm not convinced. I am. Um, can you show me the other one um, before um, we had before? It was a bit taller. That one? No, there was another one you showed. That one? Yeah. Maybe it's too high. Yeah, it's the, like, that's like way, I think that's way yeah. too big for a little mm. fishing village. Yeah, you're right. What do you think? Yeah. Whereas that one, you know, just a one story building. Yeah, well, take that one. Yeah, I'm not going to do it now, but in the future we'll put that in. Then there's a, that tavern. There's some really nice, some of these tavern modern models are so nice. Look at that. That's wow. <laughs> and, and there's the big one. And look at that. That's very posh. I think that would fit in very nicely with the colonial houses. And then the brewery for making beer, the winery, all that kind of stuff. So, yeah. So yeah, I think we're going to be. I think we're going to put that one in at some point, but uh, but not just yet. So now you can move on to the next thing. Well, I'm kind of stalling, waiting for stuff to get done around the place. They've built that house now, which is good. They built this. Oh, they've built this now. Good. Now let's have a look at this. So how many people can work at this? Oh, four. Okay, I'll tell you what we're going to do. We've got 10 labourers, 7 builders. I'm going to knock this down to 4. And I'm going to crank this up. 1, 2, 3, 4. And we'll crank this up. 1, 2, 3, 4. Right, so we've got a lot of people working on forest forestry now. We've got 4 people at this little one. This dense tree shack. We've got four people at the regular Forester, and then we've got one guy over here. Now, what I want to see is um, how the production goes with these. Now, this is going to be producing kind of well, because we've got like two houses here. So we actually need a couple of houses for these guys close by. Um, so I'm thinking... A couple of log cabins like in here what do you think Regina mm -hmm. so they don't have to walk too yeah. long to get home exactly so I'm thinking a couple of log cabins you, you 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 know you said before you you're just kind of waiting on things you know but don't you think you need to do something with the, the health of the town um, no 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 anything else <laughs> because like they no I don't need to do anything with the health of the town everything's fine um, right so is that one that you're one that one bastard <laughs> yeah, yeah. You know? god you're so rude to me no like, everybody, I'm not, everybody like in the, the first yeah. episode everybody's like oh you know you're telling you're getting into shush oh by the way on the subject of shush what did you say to me when I was talking to you earlier today 
I have no idea what you're talking about. Yes, you do. I was no talking idea. to I was talking to her and she just went, "Oh shush." Didn't you? You know you did. You know, I'm sitting here sick helping oh, you. Oh, here so we go. <laughs> oh, here we go. She's playing the sick card. Right. <laughs> Let's um, let's get a couple of these log cabins in. So I'm thinking, well, I think we just like put them like here and here. Does that kind of work for you, Regina? <laughs> You're the boss. You do whatever you want. Well, I will obviously do whatever I want, but I'm kind of giving you a chance to have some input. So I have yeah, I think you should put them there. And that one that way. Uh, in kind of there. There we go. Right. So if we get those built, then these people have got somewhere to live. Uh, but how are we doing? Yeah, see, this is going to be much more productive at the moment. It's not going to be like particularly representative. But see, if this produces as much as this does, because it's packing the trees in denser and, what, and whatever, then... Um, then we'll use these in this area. But if it doesn't produce as much as this, then we'd be better off using something else. So so that's kind of the general idea there. Right, they still haven't got on with that. You know, I'm gonna crank this up again. We're, we're really waiting on our builders. That's, um, well, our builders and laborers, because they've got to ship the stuff there. I mean, they haven't even cut the trees down. And that's the job of the laborers, not the builders. So there's that going on. You know, I'm gonna crank it up to times 10. Because there just isn't a lot getting done. We've got 150 stone. So that's awesome. Uh, we don't have any iron at the moment. So I should probably tell them to pick up a little bit of iron. So that we can carry on making tools. So let's do what is going to be the next project? A little For a little area. Uh, we've got a merchant. Woo! And then look, let's deal with him, and then we'll see. Uh, and then we'll see what what the what the story is. So uh, about what we're going to do next. So let's see what's he got to trade. We've got our five hundred fi uh, No, we've got two hundred and seventy six firewood out of five hundred. Uh, let's see, bricks and healing poultice. Yeah, I don't do want either of those. Um, so so thanks for coming. Now let's see. <laughs> yeah. So polite. What does? Uh, what can he bring? Yeah, tools he can bring. Fancy homewares, glass furniture, all that kind of stuff. Iron, iron ore. Blah 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 blah. Um, he can bring stone. I'm kind of tempted, like whenever I see people that can bring stone, to tell them to bring stone. Hey, you. Yeah. We have a slight problem. Go on. <laughs> Elf is awake. Oh, baby. Now, baby Elf is sleeping out on the balcony. You know what? You should take a, you should take a picture of him, and I'll, I'll put a picture up so that they can see. Um, uh, yeah, bring, bring, bring stone every visit. So, um, so you're going to have to go and deal with him, aren't you? Yeah. Okay. Well, I'll I tell you what. I I have to. Like, I, you better say goodbye to the guys in case yeah. you kind of can't come back but um, if you get a chance to come back before the end of the episode then uh, mm. then we'll see you later yeah well I hope to be back but until next time see you if not <laughs> right go and take care of him go and be mommy yeah right she's gone we can talk about her now <laughs> no you can't oh see she I knew you were going to do that. I <laughs> knew you were going to do that. Um, okay, so yeah, we, we don't need any of that. So we'll just we'll just dismiss that trader for now. There you go. You can whiz off. Right. How are we doing? I haven't started work on those houses yet. We've got that. Got that little wooden house in there. It's all coming to... I, I'm really liking how this is developing. It's nice and organic. I like. I really like that. I'm glad we put that in, actually. Because it just uh, it just fits. It just fits with this little, 
little foresty place out here. Although we could actually do with another house because we've got, uh, oh no, hang on, we've got, th yeah, we've got three, four, and one forester. So we've actually got five people there. We actually need another house. We do need another house. I I'm gonna hold off for now. I'm gonna hold off for now. Uh, let's see, how many people we got? We've got nine laborers. We've got four builders. I think we can probably afford to put um, an extra couple of fishermen in. Let's do that. I want to stay ahead on the food. So we'll crank that up to four. We'll crank that up to eight. There we go. So that's going to bring us in like... So if these are bringing in like 3,000 each, we're getting about an extra 1,000 from that. So that's like... That supports us up to like 70 people. And we've currently got 37, 42, 50... 53! My God, we're growing fast! We're flying along. Oh, we've got our woodcutters. All ah, right. Right, let's allocate a couple more woodcutters then. Uh, boom, boom. So, two woodcutters. We've got the... Oh, yep, yeah, that's in. That's in. Right, let's crank this back down to times two then. Uh, how are these doing? This uh, 47 logs, this is 113. But now we've got the, the people hopefully living nearby. Maybe the production will go up. We actually need another house for the woodcutters. And I think a, a little collection of, um, of these log cabins would kind of work here. So we're going to go with another log cabin. Let's see, what do I want? A small home, where's log cabin? That's a tiny shack. There's log cabin. Um, what model do I want? Maybe that one. In fact, that one, just like that, boom, will do. Right. Now, we're going to have to dress this up with um, stockpiles. And the now, where were, those, um, where were those nice lean twos? Now, they were in, they were in the storage, weren't they? Uh, not trade buildings. Storage blast warehouses. I don't like that small barn. Uh, cellar, no. That's the village barn. Oh my god, look at that. Wow. I haven't seen one of those before. That's awesome. I guess that's for putting in between the row houses. And that's a narrow good oh man a general warehouse oh i hadn't seen those that's very cool um where did i find those cool buildings was it specialized where no no it wasn't that's the materials warehouse where did i find that stuff those are the those ones <laughs> uh oh my god that's huge that's huge oh that's that storage thing wow we need to we do need one of those somewhere. I, I am going to end up putting this in somewhere. Because I think that fits in kind of well with this. But, like, what I'm looking for is, is, is these things. Where the hell did I find those? They're not stockpiles. Uh, they're not market buildings. Uh, let's keep going. Oh, 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 here we go. Storage lean-tos, weren't they? Storage lean-tos. Right, this is a general storage lean-to. Edible, uh, vegetable, protein, grain lean-to. That's, that's one of the old regular storage barns. Yeah. Where, was the, where was the one for wood? It's in here somewhere. Small barn, which we've already used, and we'll probably use more. We might, we might have one of those out here. Might have something a bit more sophisticated. We'll see. Uh, so, so storage barn, small barn. What the hell's that? Small barn, but it doesn't seem to do anything. Oh, mini storage. That's that's cool. That is. Oh, and we might want one of those around here. Let's see. Uh, 
what, what am I up to? Uh, small barn, mini storage. That was mini storage. Old barn, storage shed. That's the huge one. Uh, barn storage. Oh, look at that. That's nice. God, it's so cool just going through all the new models. Yeah, that's a vegetable barn. Dry goods storage. Where the hell are those blooming lean tos that I found? Because that's, that's fruit, that's edibles, vegetables, uh, that's meat, that's grain. Well, where the, where the hell's the fire, firewood one? That's just a fuel stockpile. Man. Uh, seriously, I, I'm going to have to find them. I, it, that, I'm going to have to do that kind of decoration in the next episode because I simply can't find the damn things. I'll be here for the rest of my life looking for those. How are we doing with uh, production-wise? So this has produced 166. This has produced 75. Now, this is good space-wise, um, but this is definitely better in terms of production, or at least it is at the moment. Uh, I, oh, I tell you what we should do. Now, this is a good... We'll probably wrap the episode up with this. Um, every now and then, it's a really good idea to just check your paths. So, who's working here? Well, he's living there. That's perfect. Um, what about... So... The guy that works there is living there. You're living in there. Cool. Um, where's the where's the shack? I can't see it. Oh, there it is. Right, so they're living there and there. And then uh, these guys are living there and there. And in this house. So you can kind of already tell. We need one extra house in this area. because people are having to come out from the, from the fishing village. Uh, those guys are living in there. That's perfect. Those guys are living in these houses. That's perfect. He's living close by. Uh, where's the teacher live? Oh, teacher lives in there. That's perfect. So, yeah, everything's, everything's awesome in the town. And then out here, the herbalist lives there. And... Uh, is that the forester's lodge? Yeah, that is the Forester's Lodge. It's a different Forester's Lodge, though, isn't it? Okay. Um, th that's confused me, because I was expecting to see the old one, but that's a different one. Did I put a different type in? I, well, I guess I did. Anyway, <laughs> moving on. Uh, I confused the hell out of myself. So, you're working there, you're working... Uh, and that's it, isn't it? So... The people that live in that house and work in there. Uh, there's, but hang on, we've got, we've got that house. We've got that house. Oh, the, oh, it's the hunting cabin. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Where are they working? So look, where are they working? Oh, see, one of them, one of them's living in town. So in like ideal, ideal conditions, we would put like one more house in. But generally, things are pretty good. People are not having to walk too far, so. Things are looking pretty good. What are we up to? How many people we got? We are up to uh, 37. So that's 48. Actually, uh, 57. So we're at 57 people. We've got five laborers. We've got four builders. Uh, we've started our wood building, our wood cutting enterprise, producing lumber. Um, but I, we should probably up our fuel limit now. Uh... Let's up our fuel limit to a thousand and let's increase the inventory at our trader to a thousand. A couple more. There we go. So now wood's worth four, so that's four thousand that we can spend, which will allow us to buy some stuff. Alrighty. So there we go. Now, I can, like I said, uh, we'll do some dressing up on this and, uh, and, and make this look good. Um, we'll probably extend a little bit and get more, more forestry, maybe a gatherer out here to supply food to the trader. Uh, what do you want to see next? What should we do next? Should we, 
Should we get, like, I don't know. If we can get some seeds, I'll get a farm going. Right? And and I want to do different types of farms. Like, I, I'd like... I'd love to do, like, um... May, like, maybe a village that's, uh... That's dependent on, on sheep. For... And, and, and they... It's all weavers and tailors and whatever. And I'd like to do a big kind of plantation type place. And... All kinds of stuff. So if you've got ideas, I'm sure you you guys must have ideas. If you have ideas for stuff like that, drop me a comment and let me know, and I'll I'll see if I can build it. So so there you go. Right. Um. We'll leave it there for this episode. Uh, unfortunately, Nanny hasn't come back. Oh. Yes, I have. Oh, you have. Why didn't you say yeah. something then? I just came back. Oh, that was perfect timing. <laughs> you just in time to say goodbye to everybody. Yeah. Do you want to have a, do you want to have a quick look before before we go? Look, so this is yeah. this is our little wood cutting place down here. No, that's that turned out really good. It, I think when, once we add a little bit of stuff around the place, you know, some stockpiles and some lean tos and stuff, I think that should that could look quite cute. Hmm. So um so yeah, anything you want to say to the to the nice people who left you messages and stuff before you go? Yeah, that was really really kind of you guys. I know I've been really pathetic, but you know, when, once I get over this, I won't talk about being sick anymore. <laughs> Okie dokie, we'll leave it there, and uh, we'll be back for another episode. I think tomorrow. So mm -hmm. uh, you're you're so, gonna be you're gonna be getting better. You'll be you'll be you'll be doing more episodes. Yeah, with you, won't yeah, you? of course. Yeah, of course. great. And there was much rejoicing. All right, guys, I will. I and Nanny will catch you for the next episode. Peace out.